to my vlog. I got a special hi guest, um, Amy Wilson. She's on my dive team at LSU. One of my really good friends. She's decided to help me out here because I'm going to have a little chat today about college, pretty much. Competing in college, what it's like to be part of LSU. Uh, for me, who has finished competing, and then for Amy, who has just finished her first season, killing it, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, I want to know, how was your first season? Like, tell me about how you found competing on LSU, like acclimating to a new environment. You are from Canada, she's from Canada by the way, um, so moving countries must have been pretty scary. Tell me about it. Um, overall, I think my season was like pretty awesome. It's kind of different, like coming into a new country and like away from your family, but I moved away from my family when I was 16 to train. So I was already pretty used to being away from my family. So I think that like it was a pretty good experience for me. I think the difference was like coming onto a team, whereas like diving is a very individual sport. But when you come to like college, you're like a team and you're not just competing for yourself. You're competing for like your school and like your whole team. And especially down here, like you're a swimming and diving team. So you kind of like have like you go from being usually a pretty small team to like a team of like 25 girls. And so I think that it's like having a whole new family and just like, it's a completely different experience, but like, I wouldn't change it for the world. Honestly, I think that like everyone that could have this opportunity should take advantage of it. Being a freshman is like completely different than being a senior and Lizzie just finished off her like final year. And then I think it's interesting to like see like how like it changes from your freshman year. So like, how do you think like your experiences have been different? Well, okay, so freshman year funny topic but good time anyone that knows me knows that I have changed a lot throughout the course of college as everyone does but ask my coach jokes done but it was a lot of fun I had a lot of fun coming in it was very scary moving from New Zealand so you know it's like 20 20 something 28 hours away in a flight um, so I just packed up all my stuff and left and it was really scary for me but I was so excited to take on that new opportunity. I was really young and, I mean, I thought I wasn't very young at the time, but now I do. Um, but I've learned so much in the time I've been in college, like truly such a growth and maturity in, I'd say wisdom, friendships, love, like it's been, I don't even know, it's unexplainable really. So Amy, what is your best memory? and your least favorite memory so far? Well, considering I've only been here for one year, I think it's like hard. There's been a lot of ups, but there's definitely been a lot of downs. I think um, you learn a lot in your freshman year, and I think it's hard for everyone to like get used to being here. But I think my favorite part and like my biggest memory was at SECs when I shared the podium with Lizzie when I came third on one meter and she came second on one meter it was just really awesome to like have two of us up there and i think that like it's just something that won't happen again because she's leaving but it was just like a super amazing memory she'll win, so be <laughs> and doug was like so excited and it's just like the highlight of my whole freshman season obviously coming in i was just a little skeptical and i think it took me a little while to get like acclimatized like, or, i don't know into like the whole thing and um i've been known for being difficult to coach in the past <laughs> And um, I think it's just my personality. So at the beginning, um, I clashed a lot with Doug and we didn't really understand each other. So it made it really difficult for me to like enjoy practice and everything because like we were fighting. And I mean, it was definitely my fault because I was being a little difficult, but I think that like that was the hardest part for me and was some of my lowest times just cause like I wasn't really enjoying it at first. But once like I got to know Doug better and like we became a lot closer the more we traveled together and stuff like he just like made my experience here so much better and he we finally started to understand like each other's personalities and like how I need to be coached and how like I work better and I think that overall like we ended up being a lot stronger now like he came to my nationals in Canada which like was amazing just to come like support me and coach me so I think it was rough at first but it turned out to be really good, and I'm so thankful that he's such a great coach. <laughs> Love you, Doug. Love you, Doug. I still have three more years to go, but I want to know, Lizzie, what are you going to miss the most about being an NCAA athlete? <laughs> oh, man. 
because it's an experience. I miss about being an NCAA athlete so much, but if I had to pinpoint it, it's just a completely different feel to international. Like you can, you can, you know, relate to that. It's the atmosphere is electric because we are a swim and a dive team. Whereas when you travel internationally, it's just diving most of the time. Um, so you don't have that level of support, that level of, I guess, family. You do, but it's it's very different. So I think the main thing that I'm gonna miss is traveling with the swim team and having that electric atmosphere, especially SECs. That oh, SECs is, is, is just amazing. When you're in the final and your whole swim team's sitting around the pool just cheering for you for every dive, it's just something like you never experience anywhere else. No, and it's really funny because <laughs> most swimmers don't know that much about diving and vice versa. So good or bad, they're cheering for matter. you. If you do like bad, <laughs> even dive, if you land like, like on your back, <laughs> they're like you're amazing. And you know that is just you can't you can't get that anywhere else. So yeah, SEC final. I'm that jealous that you still have years. <laughs> like I wish I could go back, but thankful that I got to be in there. Yeah, uh, you've just gone through it. Freshman year seems like a million years ago for me, but um, I want to know what advice would you give freshmen coming in since it's so fresh in your mind, like. What would you be like, remember to do this? <laughs> um, I think there's lots of things that freshmen can learn. A lot of things you don't know coming in. I think a, a big one for me was definitely to, like, not stress over a bad dual meet performance, especially for, like, diving. We compete constantly. Like, every weekend, back-to-back, -back, we're competing. It is stressful. It is tiring. Your season is so long, and, like, you're not going to be able to be your best at every single one. And you, it's like, don't stress over one bad performance because that doesn't mean that you're not good. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have a successful season. I think that's a really big one. I also think that um, you need to take advantage of tutoring and help with your school because you're here for athletics, but you're also here to go to school and get a degree. Mm -hmm. And we have all the support that you need here. Like, they want to help you succeed in everything that you do, whether it be your athletic goals, or your academic goals, so I think taking advantage of going to tutoring, make sure you go see your teachers in office hours. It's amazing that she is telling me. Yeah, <laughs> and I, school's not always been my best thing in the entire world, but with the amount of support they have here, like, you can have a good GPA, I promise. <laughs> um, and finally, I think it would be eating healthy. I think that that's a little bit hard sometimes when you're in school and you're training constantly but feeling your body the right way is how you're going to get your best results but enjoy in the pool. Yourself. but okay. also have fun i think that like you should go out <laughs> like you know what like you're in college you're an adult like <laughs> you gotta go have fun too but you just have to prioritize the right things like you can go be good in school be good in diving and be able to go out and have fun just don't focus at all on going out and having fun and then forgetting about your school and your diving too. Mm -hmm. That's my advice. Since <laughs> you're done, almost, um, what advice would you give for people that are getting close to the end of their college career and stuff that you wish someone would have told you before like, you finished off your... I wish I knew a lot of things, but I, I do believe that certain things you need to figure out on your own. Like, any, even if somebody told me, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but I'm stubborn like that. Uh, I would say one of the big things is be careful who you surround yourself with. Um, you want to surround yourself pe with people and friends that really do lift you up and that have the same priorities as you. And for me, like I only really realized that like later on. Um, glad I made friends with Amy because we're, we're so like passionate about diving and eating good and like being healthy and we're very similar. Yeah, achieving our goals. So that was a real like a really good friendship for me because it pushed me, motivated me to be a better person. Now, there's been some friendships that, here and there, that like, I don't think necessarily built me up, and I don't know that until like right now, but you live and you learn. But I'd just say make sure you really make friends with people that do genuinely care about you. They are out there, promise. Um, and that will just help you be the best version of yourself. So Amy, you are very, 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 very talented. Um, Thank you. So talented. So I want to know what goals do you have? Like, what do you want to accomplish? Let's think big. In college and 
outside of college too. Good yeah. question, Lizzie. <laughs> I've been diving a long time and it hasn't always been an easy road, but um, I think like as I've grown older, I've learned how to set goals and change them from just being the Olympics when I was little. I think I learned that there's so many more dimensions and like ways to have a successful diving career than just going to the Olympics. And um, I've definitely changed mine and have a lot more college-based goals now too. But I also have goals to like, hopefully still compete for my country too, as I'm, I'm on the national team for Canada. But um, right now, my goal is definitely, I'd like to win an SEC championship ring. I would love that. And I would also love to be like an All-American at NCAAs, because my NCAA <laughs> freshman year was not my best <laughs> performance, but you know, it can only go up from here and learn how to compete at a competition like that again. So I think being an All-American and an SEC champion are my biggest goals right now. And to keep competing at some Grand Prix for Canada along the way too. <laughs> Expect great things from this one. For me, a big thing freshman season was that I burned out really quick because you're not used to competing that much and like I feel like I got to the peak of my performance at the wrong time in the season and I want to know from this veteran beside me <laughs> how do you Healthy. not how do you not like reach your peak too early how do you like be ready for NCAAs and not ready for SECs <laughs> so I've definitely been in your shoes especially freshman sophomore year I'd say sophomore year definitely peaked at SECs I was like shoot NCAAs freshman year NCAAs terrible fell off the board second to last like ah. So I was like, okay, do I suck or uh, is there something I can do better? So I went with the other one, something I can do better. So I, it took me a while, really only keyed in senior year. So I'm glad you're asking me that question because I want you to learn before. Um, I'd say it's about balance. That's the key. I have tried extremes of not caring at all. Doesn't work. <laughs> no. Um, caring way too much, you know, putting so much effort in, I'd say the wrong areas, like things that you can't control, like worrying about little things, um, that drove me insane. And I did have a good dual meet season. I was undefeated in my dual meet season, so I was like, sick, this is working. But there comes the burnout. I just like dropped off the face of the earth. I was like, I can't take this anymore. So senior year, I decided to balance, to care very much but also have fun remember that there's other things in life as well surround yourself with good people I think that's a big thing for me is surrounding myself with people that were on track to the same goals and motivated me to be a better person that helped me keep a level head started doing a lot of yoga for the start it was for my back pain but in the end up here like really helped my mental game so I've been bringing along this one. It's actually been so good. I really enjoy it now too. I'm happy that she came with me because <laughs> most people just say, no, Lizzie, what are you doing? Um, but Amy actually listens, so that's good. I'd say, yeah, all of those things. Surround yourself with good people. Make sure you're doing, fueling your body right, but also having fun. So guys, I forgot to mention almost, you might have seen in my last vlog, uh, I got a new logo. Thank you, Matt, my brother. My little brother surprised me and it's so sweet. He said, hey Liz, I got this designed for you. Like, do you like it? And yeah, that's all. She's really going up with her YouTube game now. Well, if my brother <laughs> believes in me that much, well, got to. But I just want to give you a little shout out because Matt, I love you so much and I miss you and I can't wait to see you at Christmas. I love you, Sarah, too. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Hi Amy's grandma. Fun. Yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. It was a little bit different, more a conversational tone. A little all over the place. Yeah, but, but let me know if you do like these kinds of videos. Um, also, I'd love to hear your suggestions for future vlogs because I'm not a creative genius. <laughs> so tell me it's what you It's a lot harder watch. than she thought it was going to be. <laughs> it is, not gonna lie. But I'm going to stick to it. So yeah, let us let us know. Let me know. Um, Maybe I'll come back again. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to see more of Amy? <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.